two shenanigans. Today's project consists of making a straight edge from a few bits of scrap. I believe this was a honk of what it looks to be, what, three inch by maybe two inch angle iron, uh, quarter, quarter inch thickness. My plan here is to hack off the bit with the factory straight edge and then pick it up and place it on the the non-cut bit and weld it to it and then use some uh, scrap sucker rod there to make a handle. The idea is, if I'm terrible with a cutting torch, and I need all the help I can get to cut a straight line. So I'd been using uh, this sucker rod here, clamped down to my workpiece, and it worked fairly well. The sucker rod was not sanded smooth, or uh, didn't really have like a machined edge on it. So the torch would jump and skip and hiss and moan and all that stuff. So I'd been watching the YouTube trying to figure out a good way to basically have a straight edge. And I ran across another channel that a guy had essentially what I'm ripping off here. Uh, so I decided to build one. Some of these videos have been speed up. I don't think you guys need to see all the juicy details of running the cutting torch. We'll see how this, how these videos uh, clip together. This is also my first go at uh, clipping videos together, recording audio for a video, and so on so so you might have been able to see it there but I made a, a very uh, a rookie mistake as I was cutting this when I was cutting uh, the, the metal started to warp or deform from the heat and that's a bush league error but you know I'm not a metal worker for a living and just a hobbyist, a guy that plays in his shed. So I didn't, uh, I didn't prevent it. I'm not 100% sure what to do to prevent it, other than maybe taking smaller bites with it with the torch. But I ended up that piece that just fell off there. I uh, ended up shaping it like a banana. So it probably had a quarter inch of uh, banana shape in it be able to see it here in a moment with a straight edge. I use my level for a straight edge. My level has probably been dropped a couple times, possibly even run over. So it's somewhat straight-ish. So here I am. I'm going to uh, bend the sucker rod for uh, my handle. Add a little heat to her. Grab the old trusty super fingers there and and just twist her on over. Flip it over, reclamp it, do the same thing again.
add some heat, get it good and red, and fold it on over. when I realized that after I made my folds that the, uh, the, the bit wasn't square. Both legs kicking out weren't square to each other, so add a little heat to it again and give it a little twist. side. So I'm just gonna just gonna tack it in the middle. The the piece that I'd cut off earlier, I'm gonna tack it in the middle there. And then we'll give it some loving with the various adjustable wrenches and crescents and beaters and vice grips and all the various tools of the trade to then attempt to get that metal whipped back into a straight edge there. It's always a good idea to clean all the schmoo off of your straight edge give you a false reading of how not straight it is. You can see the air gap there on both ends. Whoops. Bush leak. Just a bush leak mistake. Ah. That's, that's the price of doing business when you're blacked out drunk there. Here I'm going to grab the vice grips. I got a tax in the middle there. I believe. Yeah, I'm going to grab the vice grips. And uh, what I did is I, I just grabbed it on one edge and and on the other, and I closed it, squeezed it, saw that it moved. Didn't move enough, so I pulled the vice.